For lifting solutions, think Enerpack. Health and Safety Review. This video provides an operational overview for Enerpac Power Riser or PR series lifting jacks. It is not intended to replace the instruction manual. Always completely read and fully understand the instruction manual before using any Enerpac equipment. Always consult Enerpac's website at www.enerpac.com for the latest instruction manuals and safety updates. Be aware that the operator is fully responsible for the operation of this equipment. Enerpac is not responsible for damage or injury caused by the misuse of this equipment. These operating guidelines are recommendations and under some circumstances, additional safety requirements may be necessary. Always consult local safety personnel for any other guidelines prescribed outside this video. This video is not intended to override any local codes or lifting practices outlined in ANSI B30.1. Contact Enerpac immediately if a potentially hazardous situation arises. Enerpac PR series lifting jacks must only be used for their intended purpose, lifting and lowering heavy loads within their rating. The PR series jack should not be used for any other purpose, modified or adapted to other applications without first consulting Enerpac. The following safety notes are not all inclusive, but provide general considerations to be observed when operating the PR series lifting jacks. If in doubt, ask and remember, safety first. When operating your Enerpac PR series lifting jacks, always wear the appropriate personal protective equipment and follow your company's standards to protect you and your coworkers from injury. Never exceed the stated maximum rating for a tool or accessory. Never attempt to tighten or loosen any part of the hydraulic system while it is still pressurized. The Enerpac Power Riser is an easily maneuverable, self-contained heavy-duty lifting system. Combining a high-capacity cylinder and an electric or air-powered hydraulic unit, the Enerpac Power Riser has the speed, power, and versatility you need for a wide variety of industrial and remote job site applications. The Power Riser is available in four capacity classes, each with two classes of stroke length. Complete details are available at www.enerpac.com or in Enerpac's Industrial Tools Catalog and Brochure. The Enerpac Power Riser – Safe, Efficient, Mobile Lifting and Load Holding for the Toughest Applications Let's take a look at why the simple-to-operate Power Riser is the first choice at sites that are serious about getting the job done safely and quickly. This operational video will be demonstrated mainly on an electrically powered unit. Features and functionality on air-powered models will also be shown. Let's review some of the jack components and terminology so that you'll be familiar with them in the following safety and operational overviews. Load cap, load cap support ring, jack base, control pendant, upper handle, upper handle release lever, control valve, load holding U-rings, load holding U-ring rack, piston extensions. A valve's raise position refers to the advanced setting. A valve's lower position refers to the retract setting. A valve's neutral position refers to its center position and is also known or referred to as an idle setting. General precautions. Inspect the jack and all accessories before every use. Never use a jack or any equipment that is damaged or malfunctioning. Read and fully understand all operating instructions. Observe all warnings, instructions, signs and placards posted on the jack and the equipment you are lifting or lowering. Jacks must be placed as close to perpendicular as possible. Never exceed the rated capacity of a jack. Always provide a solid base for the jack. Remove all rocks or debris to prevent damage to the base. 
Use wood blocking on unpaved, soft, or uneven surfaces. Never have metal-to-metal -metal contact between the load cap and jacking point or the jack base and the ground. For example, on the load cap, a one quarter inch thick piece of plywood sized to the load cap would be a suitable compression material. Once the load is lifted, observe a five minute wait period if the jack is used on unpaved or uneven surfaces. If settling of the jack's blocking is observed, lower the jack and reapply the jack's blocking to correct the condition. Never work under any load that is supported only by jacks. The Enerpak load holding U rings are an ideal solution for mechanical load holding. Take precautions to prevent welding or cutting sparks from contacting the piston rod while it is extended. Avoid unnecessary load movement while the load is up on the jacks. Never attempt to jack equipment if there is any question as to the integrity of the jack or the jacking surface. Make sure the load remains level while it is being raised and lowered. Operating considerations. The power riser's mobility and fast setup as a self-contained system can greatly increase the productivity of a workforce. When it's time to lift or lower, make sure that a solid, debris-free support surface has been prepared. The power riser is equipped with a three-position handle to make transport and positioning quick and easy. Pull a release lever on the upper handle and place the handle in the center position. Apply rearward and downward pressure on the handle until the jack's tires contact the ground. Note that the 4-inch or 100 mm of ground clearance enables power riser transport over rail and rough terrain. Move the jack into position under the jacking point. Since the power riser frame is only 24 inches or 610 mm wide with no exposed fittings or hoses, it can be used in some of the tightest conditions. Pull the release lever on the upper handle and lower it to its lowest position. This horizontal position enables the power riser to be wheeled under loads that allow clearance for the cylinder only. Use the handle to adjust the jack until the load cap is centered under the jacking point. Note that the jack should be as close to perpendicular as possible. Pull the release lever on the upper handle and raise it to its highest position to move it out of the way while jacking. If the load cap is not within 4 inches of the jacking point, it will be necessary to apply piston extensions to fill that gap. Measure the distance between the top of the load cap and the jacking point and select the appropriate size extension. Enerpak Superstack extensions are available in six sizes to help speed setup by minimizing or eliminating the need for extra blocking. Remember to allow clearance between the extension and the jacking point for the load cap and compression material. Pull the jack out from underneath the jacking point. Remove the load cap. Place the extension on top of the load cap support ring, making sure it is fully seated. Reinstall the load cap and verify it is fully seated on top of the extension. Move the jack back under the jacking point. Place a suitable compression material between the load cap and load. Apply forward pressure to the upper handle, making sure the jack base is in full contact with the jacking surface and that the load cap with compression material is in contact with the jacking point. Remove the control pendant from the jack and move to a position where you can safely observe the jack in operation. For air power jacks that have an automatic valve, connect the air supply and open the air valve to proceed with a lift or lowering operation. Note that the pendant for the air power jacks has two buttons, one for raising and the other for lowering the load. When either button is released, the power riser holds the load in position hydraulically. For electric units with a manual valve, first make sure the valve control handle is in the neutral position. Connect the power cord. Place the valve control handle in the raise or advance position. Remove the control pendant from the jack and move to a position where you can safely observe the jack in operation. The pendants for electric jacks with manual valves have a single button that causes the jack to raise or lower depending on the valve's position. When the button is released, the power riser holds the load in position hydraulically. In order to avoid overheating the hydraulic pump, the manual valve should be placed in the neutral position when the cylinder piston rod will not move for a minute or longer. Press the power button on the pendant to raise the load. Release the button to stop. Remain clear of the load while it is being raised or lowered. If the load is jacked on uneven or unpaved surfaces, the 5-minute wait period for safety must be observed. 
If settling of the jack's blockings is observed, lower the jack and reapply the jack's blocking to correct the condition. When the load has reached the proper level, place the control valve handle in the neutral position. Note, never allow the motor to run with the valve handle in the raise or lower position without piston rod movement for more than one minute or the pump will overheat. After the load is raised, locking, load holding U-rings may be applied to create a mechanical lock between the load cap and the load cap support ring. This feature ensures that the power riser safely locks the load in its raised position. Start by applying a 1 inch steel U-ring on top of the load cap support ring, making sure it is fully seated. Continue by applying aluminum rings on top of the steel ring. Leave enough room between the last aluminum ring and the load cap for the final 1 inch steel ring. Note, steel rings must be applied at both the top and bottom of the assembly. After the rings have been applied, place the control valve handle in the lower or retract position and retract the piston rod until the load cap rests on the upper steel load holding ring. Place the valve control handle in the neutral position. Never work under any load that is supported only by jacks. This is especially important if equipment is jacked on unequal or uneven surfaces. Make sure secondary support systems have been installed before working under any equipment. To lower the load, place the control valve handle in the raise or advance position and raise the load enough to remove the secondary support systems and load holding rings. Place the control valve handle in the lower or retract position. Push the pendants on button as necessary to ensure the load remains level as it is being lowered. When the jack has completely retracted, place the control valve handle in the neutral position. Turn off any power supplies and disconnect the electrical cord or air hose when safe. Pull a release lever on the upper handle and place the handle in the center position. Make sure the load holding rings, control pendant, and extensions have been properly stored on the jack. Move the jack away from the jacking point. This completes the general operation of the Power Riser series lifting jacks. The Enerpak Power Riser. Safe efficient, mobile lifting and load holding for the toughest applications. Enerpak. Powerful solutions. Global force.